So let me start off by saying this. Atlanta and Charlotte is two di or two different cities. You understand? So Atlanta and Charlotte is roughly four, four, about four hours away, right? Now, Atlanta, you know, um, it's about six million people in the metropolitan area. You know, um, it's called Black Hollywood. And the reason why is because everybody is trying to get down there because they want to be into in, in the entertainment world, you know, as a singer, dancer, rapper, actor, etc. You know, um, I would call I would I would say that Atlanta is more like a younger city. It's, it's made for the young people straight up. You know, I used to live there, you know, um, it's fast paced. There's always something to do, you know, Monday through Sunday. They had strip clubs and uh, hookah lounges. Hookah lounges are very big in Atlanta, the metropolitan area. You know what I'm saying? Of Atlanta. Um, so, you know, there's a lot going on. You know, everybody that's down there is striving to be someone or either they pretending. It's just that plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? And then when you bring in the LGBTQ community, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's another thing. You know, you have DL men, you have, you know, gays, lesbians, transsexuals, etc. But there is a big following down there. It's a big community, you know, and there's no disrespect towards it. I'm, I'm being honest, you know what I'm saying? So dating down there is, is, is like, I don't know, if you're looking to 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 actually be serious with, with someone, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm just being real with you. Charlotte, on the other hand, is more family orientated, is laid back. You know, um, it's there are things to do, but pretty much as as you get closer to the weekend, you know, um, I mean, it's, it's I mean, it's not that much to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Charlotte is known is a banking city. You know, it's not known for its entertainment. You know, they do have adult clubs here and and everything else that Atlanta has just much 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 on a smaller scale. You know what I'm saying? So I would think, you know, in my opinion and, and from me looking at two cities, I would think that if you're looking for a serious relationship, you would want to move to a city like Charlotte. You understand where there's, um, you know, even though Charlotte does cater towards the, you know, the, the, the millennials, the younger people, Generation Zs, you know, most of them are like clustered in the South End and Uptown area. Other than that, the outskirts of um, Charlotte, you know, like, I mean, Charlotte city limits, of course, but the outskirts of the, I say uptown area, right? We call our downtown uptown. So the uptown area, you know, um, like uh, South, uh, Steel Creek, uh, Ballantyne, um, Huntersville, you know, university area, those areas, you know, all of, you know, the, the people like, I say 35, 35 and up live. You understand? So if you're looking to, to, to date and you're looking, I'll put it to you like this. If you're looking for a wife or you're looking for a husband, you'd be better off here. Even though these two cities are night and day, you understand? And that, like I said, I mean, you'll be better off looking for a husband here or a wife here. Overall, this is what I suggest because like I've I've lived in several different states and several different cities within the states that I've lived in. And I never I did I never did any dating online. I never, you know, like went to a particular city and said, yo, how are the women down here? Like what I'm saying is that yeah, I wanted to know, I wanted to get somewhat of a feeling of it. You understand? Like what I just explained to you, how I just explained to you how Atlanta is and how you know Charlotte is. But overall, that wasn't a deal breaker for me. See, there's a thing called the law of attraction. You understand? So if you want something, right, you have to be that that thing or that person that you want. You see what I'm saying? And when you do that, then you attract that particular person that you're of the opposite sex, op, opposite sex, excuse me, that you want. In other words, I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm just being real. You got to have your shit together. Straight up. You just do. You know, you can't be a, a young lady that's looking to to to, to date a a, 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 a good-looking man that works out, takes care of himself. 
He's a, I guess, six figure man, like, you know, Kevin Samuels, <laughs> the Kevin Samuels channel. Six figure man, he got his shit going on. You can't date a man like that, you know, if every weekend you buying dresses and tucking tags in the back of your, your, your dress. So Monday morning, you can take that shit back. You can't do that. You gotta have your shit together. You understand? You gotta have a car. You have to have an apartment or a house. Something that shows that person that you're being responsible. And that at the end of the day, you don't uh, you don't need him on a financial level. You understand? Let's take it to the men. You can't be out there looking for a wholesome woman, you know, that's making decent money. She has a nice body. She works out. She takes care of herself. She'll be a, 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 a great future mother to your children. And you sitting around lazy as shit, playing PlayStation, smoking weed, not working out. You care more about uh, your car than, than your relationships. Now, let me tell you something. This is crazy. This is a side note. Yo, I don't understand why y'all motherfuckers are going crazy over these Hellcat cars. Straight up. And this is the reason why you can't get in relationships, serious relationships with women. Because you take better care of your fucking car. In other words, you treat your car like a bitch. Straight up. I forgot to give y'all the disclaimer in the very beginning. I was, you know, I should have said, you know, I'm going to curse and I'm going to be real and, and raw and blah, blah, blah. It's too late. Y'all gonna catch it. But I see these videos. I see videos. These 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 these, these niggas for real. I'm, not, I'm just being real. Like these niggas uh, uh, make YouTube videos <laughs> about their Hellcat, their cars. They're talking about, yeah, I shined up. You know, armor rolled up. You know what I'm saying? I got the new Fender, the spoiler kit on it, and this and that and so forth. But you don't, all that effort that you're putting into a, a, a fucking materialistic thing called a car, a Hellcat in specific. You won't put that same type of energy, that same type of drive, that same type of motivation into a relationship. And this is the reason why your fucking relationships are failing. You got to stay off the blood, the, the, the drugs, man. You know, some of y'all popping pills. Some of y'all are drinking. That causes erectile dysfunction. It, it, it lowers your testosterone. And you wonder why these women on YouTube bitching and complaining about how she got with this dude and his dick went limp before she even kissed him. So this is the thing, you know what I'm saying? That you have to do. And when you take care of yourself, when you focus on yourself and you make sure that you're right, that you're right, guess what? You'll attract the type of women or in the case of a woman, you'll attract the type of men that you're looking for, that you want and need in life. Other than that, you can't go around and, and, and your shit ain't right thinking that you're going to find the quote unquote right one. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't make a difference. This this law that I'm talking about, it goes across the board. It doesn't make a difference whether you're in Charlotte, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, New York City, California. Doesn't make a difference. You could take what I'm telling you, any and everywhere. And this is, I had to learn this the hard way. Pause, for real, I'm not even lying. You know, I'm out there, when I was young, I was out there looking for you know, Miss Right, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I want her to cook, I want her to clean, I want her to do this, that, and that, so forth. Now, taking heed, like, I've always been the type of dude, you know what I'm saying? I've always had the advantage over the dudes, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Because my mom, she she, she got me right. You know, I used to get in trouble all the time, suspended, you know, from high, you know, from, from school or whatever, high school, you know. I would lie, I would do all types of shit. My mom's had me on punishment. And my punishments was cooking, cleaning, Washing clothes, all of that type of shit. And in the very beginning, I'm not gonna lie, I, I it was tedious. I didn't want to do it. But then eventually, you know what I'm saying? I started catching on, like, yo, I, I can, I can use this shit in the near future. You know what I'm saying? So like, now I'm, I, I can wash my own clothes. I can cook. I can clean. I can change diapers and all the rest of that shit. But you can't be looking for those type of things in a woman, and you can't do that shit. You're not capable or able to do it. You don't even want to attempt to do it. You understand? But that's how I was when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Wanting all of these things from a woman. And at that point in time, I didn't have it. Well, what makes me think I'm going to find that type of woman then? What makes a, what makes me think that a woman, or let's just say in your 
in your case, what makes you think that a woman is gonna be attracted to you if you don't, if you can't do half of the shit that she can do? You know, I mean, my mom's no disrespect. You see, my mom, she loves hard, for real, of course. And she's in love with you, she's in love with you. But I'm telling you, you know, my, I apologize, I ain't trying to put your business out there, but you know, she fell in love with this, 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 this nigga like a long, 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 long time ago. You understand? I still don't like the nigga till this day. But you know, she fell in love with him and, and this nigga became my brother. Not her husband, my brother, my bigger brother. Because that's how he was. He was like a fucking kid. He, he had to have his cereal in the morning, his cereal. You know what I'm saying? My mom's washed clothes for him, cooked for him, cleaned for him, did everything that a wife was supposed to do. This motherfucker wanna go out and do whatever the fuck. In other words, my, he did not deserve my mother. And a lot of times these niggas, you know what's so funny? These niggas are looking for moms. They looking for someone to take care of. They don't want no wife, they want a mother. They want a mom to cook and clean for them. To make up their beds and shit. It's crazy, grown ass man walking around here with these, these this, this mother, mommy and dad, excuse me, mother and son type of mentality when they date. You know, uh, when they go out on dates. Can't have that. Can't have that. You know what I'm saying? You got to get your shit together. You just do. And ever since I've, you know, got my shit together, you know, um, I still got some things that I have to improve about myself. You know what I'm saying? It's a thing called sustain sust sustainability. You know, short for stability. You have to be stable. You have to be stable in this world. And being stable in this world is not just having one job, not putting all your apples in one basket and saying that this is my income right here. I'm making $80,000, but you're working for someone. And if you're working for someone, that, then that means that that person can fire you, you, lay you off. Look at what we're going through now with this virus thing. People are losing their jobs. So what makes you think that your job is, you know, bulletproof? Like, you can't get fired. So being stable is being independent. Having some type of hustle on the side going on. So just in case, hustles plural. So just in case your main, like, the, 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 your, main, your, your main income collapses, you can rely on all, um, several different other streams of income that you have coming in. It may be a lawn mowing company, you know what I'm saying? It may be, you know, you walking a dog, you know, you got a business, you know, walking dogs. It, it could be anything. But you gotta, you got to come correct when, when you, when you're out there dating, especially if you want to be serious. You know, I go to the YMCA all day, you know what I'm saying? And, and I go downstairs, you know, to change my clothes, take a shower, you know, the steam room, a hot tub, and the sun is down there. And I observe men, you know, no homo, pause. I, not in that way, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I, I'm just paying attention to my surroundings. And I'm like, damn, man, how the fuck you got a wife? How does she accept you for who and what you are? You know what I'm saying? Because I hear and I see men's deepest, darkest secrets. You know, they, they quick to talk about, you know, problems and situations that they're going through. And I'm like, wow, man, you mean to tell me you haven't pleased your woman in how many years? This motherfucker walking around. I'm like, yo, put on a towel and shit. You, this butt hair is coming out of his ass and shit. Come on, man. How the fuck does a woman put up with some type of shit like that? That fuckery. Nose hairs. Uh, hair coming out your ears. Come on, man. Where, where, where the fuck is the personal hygiene in this motherfucker? Like, for real. A real woman, because that's what you want, don't you? You know what I'm saying? A real woman wouldn't want to go for that shit. Straight up. A real woman wants a real man, a man that's going to be healthy, a man that's going to be there physically, mentally, and spiritually. For real. It's just that plain and simple. And it can't be one out of the three. A real woman is not going to settle for less, and neither will a real man will either. Straight up. You know, you hear this thing from your, from, from your, your, um, your girlfriends 
And you, if you're a female, you hear this thing from your your, your, your people, your boys, your homeboys. If you're a man, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, your standards are too high. You're never going to get a girl like that or you're never going to get a dude like that. Bullshit. Never lower your standards. Because I can tell you, out of these, out of all these, man, I fuck with a, quite a few hood rats in my motherfucking life. And if I had standards at that point in time, in which a lot of men don't, if I had standards in it and then we try to bash the women because they got standards, nah, they just love themselves. And you should take, and they, and they, and they, and they put worth, they, they, they have worth on their pussy. They put worth, they put a, a, a bill, a priceless bill on their pussy. Maybe you should try doing that with your penis. Because I could tell you in the past, man, I ain't have no price on my penis or no worth. And a lot of other dudes that I know did as well. But if you had some worth on your shit, guess what? Well, I say in the case of my situation in the past, if I had, if I put some worth on my penis, I would have never stuck my penis inside half of these broads, these chicken heads that I was fucking with. But it's what you see is what you get. The law of attraction. You saying in your mind, why I keep on attracting these whores? Because you're one. Why I keep on attracting these no good men? Because you're a no good woman. Why I keep on attracting these drug heads? Because you smoke blunts. You drink. You pop pills. That's why. Period. And there are some cases that you attract someone and you do ex the exact opposite. Sometimes uh, opposites, you do attract opposites. But when you come across that and you don't want it, then guess what? It's just plain and simple. You know how you pick up something from the, you know, in the, in the grocery store? Let's say, for example, you, you pick up some Apple Jacks and you're like, nah, I don't want no Apple Jacks. I'm going to put this shit down and get me some Fruity Loops. It's just that plain and simple. It's not complicated. I think people make this whole dating shit so fucking complicated. I, I put it to you like this. This is real talk, for real. Some good advice right here, what I'm about to, 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 to say to you. For you men, when you stick your dick in something, guess what? You better think before you stick your dick in, in that person that it's a possibility that you could be with that person for the next 20 years. Do you want to be with that person for the next 20 years is the question. If no, walk the fuck away. There's other pussies around. Same thing with the women. Before you let that man stick his dick inside of you, just think about it. Do you want to be with this man for the next 20 years? This man that got a six toe and that six toe is a coin. This man where you told him, you know what I'm saying? Links in 2092, you know, he's a friend of mine and he, you know, he grooms himself. You know, he shaves on his underarms, he shaves the chest hairs, his pubic hairs and stuff like that. You know, why don't you try doing that? You real hairy and stuff. And when I, when I stand tall on my knees, if you get my drift, I got to go through the forest to get to your shit. I'm trying to please you. I'm, I'm trying to please you and you know what I'm saying I'm just asking can you just trim that shit downstairs in, in the middle of your goddamn legs you know what I'm saying the shit that the, the fucking jungle leads from the, the, the tip of your penis all the way down to your all the way all the way down in the middle of your damn legs and, 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 and lead them back up to your asshole you talk about nah 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 that's gay what you ain't getting no woman like that and they don't what real woman gonna tolerate that. And for the woman, you gotta deal with that for the next 20 years. Do you wanna deal with that shit? Nigga be farting in bed and shit. Let me tell you something. No disrespect to the man, but let me I'm just being real with you. Seriously, like my mom's taught me better. Like I don't use dial soap, Irish spring, and shit like that on my face. You know what I'm saying? I try to use the best products that I could use that has the least amount of fucking chemicals and ingredients in it. I take great pride in. In, 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 in my appearance and everything. Some people may sit back and say, well, look at your hair. Well, fuck you, look at yours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going what you call these days free form locks. You best believe, smell my hair. And I'm telling you, my, my hair smells good because I keep it washed. Straight up. I take great pride in, in, in who and what I am as a man. And I am arrogant when need, need be. And I am uh, narcissistic and egotistical when need be, especially when it deals with my hygiene. And that's something that that from my past experience, right? Experiences. 
women adore. They adore a good smelling man. They adore a man that knows how to cook, a man that knows how to clean. And now I could, I, I could do all of that. I think that you men should try and put forth some effort. And then I'm gonna leave it. I'm, I'm gonna be done, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm say this, and I'm gonna leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, this is real talk. At the end of the day, you women, real women, that is, you understand? It ain't all about the money. This man got a Honda Accord, a townhome. He may not wear the, 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 the most finest, you know what I'm saying, clothes or whatever have you, but he could take care of himself and you. That's your man, yo. Straight up. So, yeah, man. If you if you listen to what I said throughout this whole um, video, you shouldn't have no problems whether you dating in Atlanta, Charlotte, or in, around the fucking world. That plain and simple.